the last video we looked at adding a uh, background and we added some walls around as well. Now we need to add a character and get our character moving in the level as well. So I'm going to right click, insert a new object and scroll down till we get to sprite. I'm going to give it a name, we'll call it player and we'll press insert and we'll use the crosshairs to click where we want our player to be. Now with a top down game we want our character to fit in the top down environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a circle and oh, our circle starts from the middle with constructs. So let's go to the middle and let's change the color. Let's have it nice green, I think. Make it stand out a bit. So we're going to put our mouse in the center and we're going to create a bit of a circle. And we can hold shift down to get a perfect circle. Now, for some reason with construct, it creates all the characters from the right hand side. So what I want to do is I'm just going to create some eyes for our character. Bend up the border thickness a little bit. Oh, a little bit too much. That should be perfect. So we've got our eyes here. And this is just showing our character and which way they're facing. So I can press escape now. And I can make this a little bit smaller. So now we've got that, we need to add two behaviors to our character. So the first behavior we're going to add is scroll to. Scroll to will keep it in the center of the camera. So it's going to follow our player around, which is perfect because we always want to be following our player. And the second one we're going to add is called eight directions and this can control our movement so eight directions add that and we've got some options to go with this so I'll talk about those options in just a sec let's play it and see what it does so now you can see that I can move my character around and I'm able to move him whichever way I want using the arrow keys and you see that I can turn him quite smoothly I can face the other way and this is quite a nice movement for us to use. There's some other options we can use though. First of all, we can turn off rotation. What this will do instead, it means that our character will move in all eight directions, but it will never turn. So if you want something a bit more traditional, this will work. Some games will work better with this style, but it's just one option. The other option we've got is we can actually reduce the number of directions, so we can reduce it to four directions, so we can only move up, down, left and right, we can't move on the diagonal, or we can even have it where you can only move left and right or up and down. So if you think something like Pong, where you've got the paddle that can only move up and down, or Brick Breaker, where the paddle only moves left and right, that's how we'll do something like that. So I'm going to put it back to smooth, I'm going to keep on eight direction, we can change the speed if we want, but I think personally this is a good speed for our character, because it takes him couple of seconds gets the other side and again we can test our solid behavior and you can see that we can't get through the walls no matter how hard I try we can't get through because we've added the solid behavior onto our walls so next video we'll look at what else we can do to this level to make it a little bit more exciting